This RPG Maker MV tutorial was suggested by Renkai Noctis. I apologize if I mispronounced that. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is and welcome back to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about level up growth rates, originally from Fire Emblem. It's a pretty interesting system where, well, your stat growths are, when you level up are determined by RNG, which, to be honest, isn't really fun depending on what kind of game you're making. Although, in Fire Emblem, they seem to make it work. We're only going to be using two plugins today, and they're not... Well, they're not from Yamfly. They're two Humanworks plugins, which are... I think it's Common Event Q and Level Up com level Common Events. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, I think it's fair to go over the plugins and some of what's going to be happening at this moment. Uh, we're going to be using the plugins Common Event Q and Level Events, just like I said in the last clip. Uh, on the level up events page, Humanworks recommends they use common event queue because if you have multiple common events around the same time, apparently only one of them occurs. Level up events is where you can set a specific common event to work for a specific actor. So if Runefire levels up, he can have a different common event than when Harold levels up, which uh, we will go to right now. Uh, Runefire will have, I think, 23. Runefire will have level event 23, and Harold will have level uh, common event 24 in this uh, in this tutorial. So he has specific things. We'll go over that later. And the only variable we're gonna be using is uh, a generic variable that's for RNG, which is gonna be from one through 100. That's basically it for the layout for this for this tutorial. Uh, the last thing we need to do before going over the actual eventing is the classes because. Well, it's kind of important. So for every single one of these stats, it doesn't really matter what uh, what what value they have. We just want to make sure that none of them increase upon leveling up, at least flat out. We want to only make it so that it's based off of RNG and not, again, flat out leveling up. So we're setting HP and MP of the Arch Sage and Herald classes to 10, and they will always stay 10 unless increased with the RNG uh, shenanigans. Attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, and luck are also all set to 1. This is so we can easily see any increases that happen during the tutorial. It should also be taken into consideration that the EXP curves for both classes are the same. Which is important, kind of, because we're gonna be using two types of enemies in this tutorial, one with low EXPs, low EXP value, the second one having a high EXP value. Alright, it's time to go over the common events. We're gonna go with Runefire first because his is easier, because, well, his growth rates are 100 and lower, while Harold's is 100 or greater. Trust me, this is gonna be a lot easier. Uh, for these common events, there's no trigger and no switch because they're going to be activated using the plugin, uh, the, the level up common events, uh, plugin note tags we put in the actor's note box, so we don't need to worry about that. Now I have these comments here that display how much, how many growth rates, how much, of, what the growth rates are for each character. Uh, so 100% HP, 15 MP. 80 in attack, 10 in defense, magic attack, magic defense, 75 in agility, and 10 in luck. I'm gonna play a little sound effect here, or, well, okay, actually it's a music effect, so it cancels out background music. We're gonna have a little text box so we can let this play out. And then we're gonna first control this variable, which is basically what we're gonna be doing for this entire uh, event page. From 1 through 100, because it's a percentage based variable. Since our HP growth is 100%, no matter what it goes through, uh, we'll gain the max HP plus one anyways. So we don't actually have to use this conditional branch for random stats is less than or equal to 100. So, yeah, you don't. It, it isn't necessary for 100% or, as we'll see later, 200%. We'll change the parameter, room fire will gain max HP plus one, and we'll have a little text box, and of course, a sound effect. The next one's 50. So we're going to set the random stat to 1 through 100 as well. And if the random stat is less than or equal to 50, so if it's 1 through 50, and not 51 through 100, we'll gain plus 1 max MP. 
play sound effects, and have another text box. Basically, this is all what happens for the rest of the event page. Attack is less than 80, so 1 through 80 is, if you get anywhere from 1 through 80, then you basically get the stat gain. And these are 10, and 75. That's basically it for Room Fire, however, Heralds is not as simple. Heralds is, well, it's kind of hard to explain the Room Fires, because uh, they're over 100%. However, we're still going to do the same random 1 through 100. Well, well, we'll get to that later. But Harold has 100% in HP and MP. We're gonna do the same thing as Runefire had with the HP. So random stats is less than or equal to 100, or you don't have to put the conditional branch at all. You'll just get in the stats and have a text box. Same thing goes with MP. Attack, however, is at 200%. We actually want to, if, if stats are greater than 100%, we want to subtract 100% from there from their uh, variable total. Uh, unless it's like 200, if it's 200% then you also don't need a conditional branch just like with 100, you can just flat out give them an attack plus 2, which is why this conditional branch is really simple. Because it, it's, it's pretty much impossible for Harold to get attack increase plus 1. However, this is defense growth equals to 190%, so we want to subtract we want to subtract 190 by 100, which is 90. If random stats is less than or equal to 90, Harold will get defense plus 2. However, if it's not less than or equal to 90, of this else branch, Harold will get defense plus 1. So that little, that 10% that's shaved off goes into uh, just one stack gain. And the same thing, of course, is applied for everything else. 60, if it's that, if it's the other 40%, then you only get one magic attack as opposed to two. 15%, 15%. Um, luck growth is actually the outlier here. Luck growth is set to 0%, so there's no need for anything to happen, to be honest. Because, uh, Hero's luck growth cannot go up. So, yeah. I think we g we're going over to Aventing next. So we don't have that many crazy events on this event or on this map here. Uh, the only one that actually makes that's actually important to us are these two monsters here, which trigger boss, trigger mon trigger fights. One of them giving 75 EXP and another giving 500 EXP, just so that we can see that. Well, 75 EXP is usually gonna get you a level up at level one in this tutorial, at least. And 500 EXP will get you more more in level, but. Uh, it's, this is gonna show that it still works even if you have multiple levels, which is why common event Q is there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we also have this uh, this fairy here, which is gonna switch between Herald and Runefire and just have a little uh, message explaining that Herald has multiple over 100% growth rates and Runefire has multiple under 100% growth rates. But yeah, it's time for the demonstration. Alright, it is time for the fairly easy demonstration. Uh, there's not much we need to talk about here, except that these are Runefire's current stats. If we switch to Herald, we can also see his stats. But yeah, uh, Time Spydra is the one with 75 EXP, which we're going to be using Runefire for. We're going to be fighting him three times, we level up twice. And then we're going to have Herald attack Time Knight, so we level up like four times or three times. So we level up, HP increased by 1, because this is the 100% one, MP increased by 1, defense increased, agility increased. Check our stats, you can see HP, MP, defense, and agility all increased. Now we're going to keep fighting until we get to level 3. We level up once more. Increasing HP, MP, Attack, Defense, Agility. I'm quite surprised that we didn't get Attack in that first level up, considering it has an 80% chance, but... Ah oh well. Oh, we're gonna go to Herald now. Now he has a 0% luck growth, 
two 100% growths with HP and MP, and several over 100 growths, so we'll see how we do. When I fight this time knights, we should get four to five levels, it's like, a, it's like a 500 DXP. I also didn't give him a weapon. Oh, we're level four, okay. Okay, we level up once. HP plus one. MP plus one. Attack plus two. Defense plus two. Magic attack plus two. Magic defense plus two. Agility plus one. We level once more. And, uh, yeah. Everything goes smooth as that. H plus one, MP plus one. Attack plus two. Defense plus two. Magic attack plus two. Magic defense, magic defense plus one. And agility plus one. As you can see, we never gained a single luck stat because again, 0%. But yeah, that should do it. But yeah, that's me for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, well, I don't have a tutorial for next time. However, there is something I want to try. A new RPG Maker series, if you will. I'm going to be trying to recreate certain things from certain games. Not like to a T, so like not every message or every text box. However, I'm just going to be recreating the map, and maybe if it's a puzzle, I'll try to recreate the puzzle too. We're going to be starting off with Pokemon Sword and Shield for next week. Well, as, as a new series, you know. It's not tutorial. I'm not sure what to call it, but I do have a little idea. But yeah, with that said, if you liked this video, please consider dual slashing that like button, or setting a blaze the subscribe button. And with that, I say... See you guys, and stay safe.